So for the four scan change we're doing today, there's only a few things you really need. One, you'll need some sort of ODB link type uh, adapter to either USB or Bluetooth works. This is the Bluetooth one. Uh, I'll have a link to it in the description. Um, it plugs into the diagnostic port under the steering wheel. It's pretty universal. Also, uh, some sort of Windows tablet or a Windows laptop. Uh, the iOS and Android light versions of Forescan do not allow you to make changes. Also, potentially a stylus because clicking on little fields with your fingers, especially if you got big old bare fingers like me, doesn't work out so good for you. So uh, these are pretty much the only things you're going to need. You may also need to print out the spreadsheet that has the setting changes on here, um, or you can always just click back and forth. Um, I ended up bringing my laptop out in the truck with me and having it beside me so I could, you know, move around through the spreadsheet without too much hassle. Um, so that's all you really need to do this. So next we'll go ahead and get into where the ODB plug plugs in and uh, getting started. So here's a better view of the diagnostic port. Uh, that's where you're going to plug your ODB link adapter in. Just going to go right in there. Cranks up. It's got power. Bluetooth active. You're going to have to pair it up with whatever device you have. But that's where it goes and that's what it looks like. So just to show you what we're going to be doing in the actual uh, PDM and DDM modules to make a change. I just went ahead and got a screenshot of my uh, both of my modules, and I'm just going to show you where the settings are. Uh, it was a little bit easier to do this than it was to try and record me using my tablet. So uh, the first thing we'll go do is we're going to reference our spreadsheet, which is here. And these are the fields you're going to worry about. As you can see, auto fold mirrors, link and style, see description. Uh, mirrors will fold closed via the lock button on FOB, but will only unfold when driver's doors open closed. Helpful if you find yourself unlocked in your truck to grab something from inside, but don't want the mirrors unfolding. So the first thing we're going to do uh, is we're going to be uh, making some changes uh, to the to the DDM module. So first thing we're going to look for is we're going to look for 740-0301. And we're going to change the second and third values to 84. So we'll go find our DDM. There's our DDM, 740-0301. First field, that's what we changed to 84. Yours will be something completely different. We're going to change that one, uh, and then we'll go down to the next part of the DDM, which will be 740-1201, and we're only going to change the first value, no matter what it is, to F. So 740-1201, right here. Uh, that's mine, change to an F, yours will be something else. So we'll change that, uh, and then you can uh, either hit right here on each one of them, but there's also a write all button at the bottom uh, of the screen. Uh, it's going to say uh, something to the effect of uh, go ahead and turn the power off on the vehicle. Um, you hit OK and then hit just accessory off and accessory back on in the vehicle and that should make the, the first settings uh, take effect. So once we're done with the DDM, we're going to go do the same thing with the PDM. Uh, as you can see, it's actually the exact same value change between the two modules. So same exact value change in the PDM module over here. Uh, 740-031, uh, change it to an 84 in the middle, uh, the second and third values, and then go down to 12 and change the first value to an F. Write all, turn the power off and back on, and you should be good to go there. Uh, that'll get you the Lincoln style auto folding mirrors. Um, again, just make sure you do a backup uh, when when you when you do this. In case you you know you fat finger something and it doesn't work, you can always restore your old settings. Um, you know, it, it's it, it's pretty easy to do. So, you, you but just be safe and and, re, and re, make sure you get a backup. But uh, that's that's how you change the uh, the four scan settings, and that's all you have to do for this one particular setting. Um, you do have to make different changes for everything that you want to do to the vehicle, um, and you will have to power off, power on uh, to to get them set up. Like I just said, here's the here's the the Bambi mode. Uh, that's also available, and then the the disable. There's a there's a double honk disable. There's that. Uh, and again, just for clarity's sake, on the spreadsheet, it, it explains it in here. But just so you, just to be completely clear with how it works with the auto folding mirrors, um, anything that you're going to be making a change, anything with an X on it, you're not going to touch on the on the settings. So 
you know, if your first setting here on, on this one was G123, the only thing you're going to touch is this first one and make it F123. Don't touch anything that's marked with an X. That's left there on purpose. So that's, that's it. That's how you do it. We got the Forescan module adjusted for the Lincoln style. Um, the Lincoln style mirrors auto fold. So watch this maneuver. We hit off. And we're going to get out of the car. All right, still no big deal. We're going to go back here, grab our old, uh, grab our old backpack. And then, uh, oh, snap. Um, I will include a link to the spreadsheet. I will include a link to kind of a walkthrough tutorial spreadsheet that someone's created. Um, I'll include a link to the ODB link that I have, the tablet that I have, uh, and the USB wired uh, ODB link that you can get instead if you want. Um, hopefully that'll help. Uh, the spreadsheet's pretty extensive. Check it out. If you have any questions about it, uh, leave a comment and I'll try and help you with it. Um, I'm learning this with you, so, you know, I may not have the answer immediately, but I'll try and go find it if I don't. So, let me know what you guys do to your trucks if you do anything. Uh, again, this is also applicable to, I believe, the, I believe the spreadsheet says the 2015s to 2018 F-150s. Um, if you have another kind of car, there are spreadsheets out there for them. Um, I am just happen to have this, the Ford F-150 one specifically because, hey, that's what I drive. But, um, again... Uh, it's not every year, but I think there's probably uh, options out there for older year models too. You'll just have to find the spreadsheets. And if you have an older one, I can try and help you find it. But again, this will just be for the 2015s to 2018s. Um, and uh, hopefully you guys find some stuff to use for your trucks. So real quick, I just wanted to remind everybody, if you start messing with Forescan to back up your modules, um, there's a link in the... Google spreadsheet tutorial on how to do it. It's really easy. It'll save you some time and headache. I forgot to save one of mine and I had to go find somebody on one of the F-150 forums that was nice enough to send me a copy of, of theirs to make sure I wasn't screwing something up. I don't know what the extent is that you can screw your vehicle up with this. Um, you may be able to make it so that, you know, your headlights stay on forever, you know, or maybe, you know, maybe your radio only goes to a Celine Dion channel now. I don't know. I don't know what you can do to it. It's mostly vanity cosmetic stuff, so it's not like you're going to you know, blow your engine messing with these things, but still, save yourself some headache, save your modules off to a backup, that way you can restore them if you think you've done something wrong, or if it's not working the way you think it should, and you want to try again, um, just make sure you do that, I know for a lot of people this is going to be the first time you messed with Forescan, it is for me, um, so just save yourself a little bit of headache and do that, and um, don't forget, if you're a PetSmart or Petco and you bought a ferret, or you're, you know, buying a cat tree, or you're buying your part pit, part chihuahua, part labradoodle named, you know, Sebastian, a rope toy or something, um, just make sure you, uh, make sure you, you know, give a buck or two to the poor animals because they can use it. Also, while we're sitting here, you guys got to check this car out. Holy crap. What is that thing? Talk about a hoonigan. That thing's got an exhaust pipe that's like two feet tall sticking out and up. And it's got a basket on top for with what looks like oil, possibly. Either oil or I don't that's amazing. That's that's the most kin blocked out old Honda. I think that's an old Honda Accord, maybe an old Honda Civic that I've ever seen in my life. That thing's amazing.